Hi everyone. Here is our delicious and forgetted exercises sa compound financial is. Okay, so if we zoom 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 that. Okay, so problem one. So please get your copies para nasasabayan nyo sh ako kahit mabilis basahin ang problem. Okay, so we have adapted problem. We have at the beginning of the current year, power company issued 12 percent grabe. 5 million non-convertible bonds at 103 which are due in 5 years. So, not convertible siya pero meron siyang share warrants. Each bond was issued 30 share warrants, each of which entitled the bond holder to purchase for 51 share of power company. Par value 25. Insurance is payable annually every end of the year. On the date of issuance, the market value of the share was 40 and the market value of the warrant was 4. Okay. And then the market rate of interest for similar bonds ex warrant is 14%. What amount should be recognized as discount premium on the original issuance of the bonds? Okay, so ilang bonds yung in issue? 5 million divided by 1,000. So yun yung number of bonds na in issue. Then you'll get, um, you multiply it. Kasi sa isang libong, sa 1,000 denominated bond, okay, uh, given daw siya ng 30 share warrant. So, let's just look at it. So, 5 million uh, divided by 1,000, you get 5,000 ang initial bonds times 30. Ibig sabihin, entitled siya for 150,000 shares if lahat na exercise. Okay, so let's solve Ang unang given. Ang unang tanong is discount or premium on original. Okay, so, anong gagamitin natin? Uh, we look for the present value of the bond. Okay, so, paano? We look at the cash flows. Dalawa naman ang cash flows niya. So, we have the principal and the interest. Okay, so, we have the principal of 5 million. And then, the interest, you just multiply 5 million with the nominal rate of 12%. If I'm not mis- yeah, 12%. Okay, 6 million siya. Or 600,000. Then, I just want to... So, ganito kasi yung ginagawa ko, adapted sa isang author, ng pagkocompute para hindi nalilito. Nakalagay ko yung percent, yung effective rate and 5 periods. Uh, and then, the number of periods. Okay? So, uh, yan, wala lang. Para hindi ako nalilito pag nag-compute ng present value. Okay? So, hindi given ng present value factor, so we have to compute. So, paano ba nagko-compute ng PB of 1? So, ito, nilagay ko na, PB of 1 for N periods is 1 plus effective interest uh, raised to negative N. Effective interest rate dapat to. Okay? So, so we have, pag ini-input mo to, it's 1.14%. 1 plus, uh, yeah, 1.14 raised to negative 5, you'll get 0 0.5194. Mahaba pa yan. I just rounded out to 4 decimal places. Okay? And then, multiply mo lang yung 5 million sa PV factor niya, you'll get 2597. Okay? 2597. 2, 5, okay? Next. For the interest, ang gamit mo sa kanyang PV factor is PV of ordinary and with e. Okay, how do we compute? It's 1 minus 1 plus effective interest rate raised to negative n. So, mali. Wait, wait, wait. Let's just correct this. Correct, correct. Okay. And then, divided by interest rate. So, that's 1 minus 1.14 raised to negative 5 divided by 0.14. So, you'll get 3.433. 1. Okay, so again, this is rounded off to 4 decimal places. So, multiply mo lang, yield 600,000 times 3.4331 PV factor, you'll get 2,059,860. Then, add mo lang yung total present value of the cash inflows, you'll get 4656860. Okay, so yun, so we have the present value niya. Okay, next. We compute for the discount by ibabangga mo yung present value sa face amount. So, face amount niya is 5 million. Less mo yung natanggap mo, okay, na yung present value niya, which is 4656860, you'll get 343140. Ma'am, di ba meron namang market values yung shares? O nga, may market values yung shares, pero as standard tells us, counting standard, dapat present value of the liability. 
of the bond payable ang ating gagamitin. Okay, so this count is, this is the answer, T4, T140. Okay, so I hope that's good with you. Okay, ma'am, uh, kami naka-basic calcu, kaya nga. Okay, so I'll just uh, make a, uh, a separate video about how to do this in the basic calcu. Although, I know na alam nyo na kung paano. Okay, so sa mga hindi pa alam, edi wait lang natin yung video regarding how to compute PV factors. Okay, paano kaya kung ang periods ay 10? Ano? <laughs> okay, anyway. So, next is, uh, how much is the equity component? So, we have the issue price of the bonds. It's 5,150,000. Okay? So, paano siya nakuha? So, that's 5, 5 million. Okay? Hindi ko pala nilagay computation. 5 million times 103. Okay? 103. So, lagay natin. Para hindi nalilito. So, that's... Oh my God! My goodness, where's the cursor? 5 million times 1 over 3. Okay, so, yeah, then, wrap text. Yan. So, 5,150. Less yung present value na compute natin si kanina. You'll get the equity component of 493,140. Okay? Next. Magano daw ang share premium na i-credit? Okay, if... if Lahat daw ng shares ay exercise. Okay? So, sabi ko nga sa inyo, if i-exercise niya lahat ng share warrants niya, meron siyang entitled, entitled siya for, for 150,000 shares. Okay? So, magkano daw pwedeng bilhin? Pwede daw siyang bilhin at 50 pesos. O, di ba? So, yung 150,000 shares, dahil na-exercise daw lahat, times 50, an exercise yung, oo nga, 150,000 shares times 50, you'll get, uh, magkakaroon ka ng cash, may receive mo ang cash na 7,500, okay, 7,500,000. Then, nung original issue ones, nag, nagkaroon ka ng credit to share warrants outstanding. If you remember our discussion regarding uh, journal entries in the recording of the issuance of the bonds of the of the compound financial instrument. So, nag-credit ka na na share warrants outstanding. So, ngayon, uh, i-debit mo ngayon siya kasi lahat naman is na-exercise at the amount of the equity component. So, 493,140. Then, you credit share capital kasi nga nag-acquire siya ng share. So, so, always remember that share capital is valued at par. Okay, so par value. So, 150,000 times 25 par value. Okay, you'll get 3,750,000. Okay, and then your share premium, balance in figure. <laughs> okay, so you just add the cash plus the share warrants outstanding less the share capital. Okay, so you'll get the share premium. Ganun lang. So, the amount of 4, 2, 40, 140. That's the share premium to be credited. That, that's the amount to be credited to share premium. Okay? So, madali lang siya. Okay? Lalo na to. Problem 2. Sabi, uh, we are given the problem, power company issued 5 million face amount, 12% 5 year comfortable bonds at 110. The beginning of the current year per interest semi-annually on January 1 and July 1. It is estimated that the bonds would sell only at 103 without a conversion feature. Each 1,000 bonds is convertible to 10 ordinary shares at 100. So, siya ay bond, bonds payable with share warrants. What is the increase in shareholders' equity arising from the original issuance of the convertible bonds? Okay. So, Ay, sorry. Hindi pala siya bonds payable with share warrants. Siya ay convertible bonds. Okay. So, inantok na talaga ako. Haha, <laughs> char. So, let's do this. Nasaan yan? Yan. Okay. So, sabi, nung issue price daw nung with conversion feature, you ay 110. So, multiply mo lang 5 million times 1.10. Okay. So, you get 5, 5. And then, Market value without conversion be privilege, sabi. 103 daw. So, you multiply 5 million by 103. 1.03. Then, minus mo lang. This is the equity component. 350,000. Okay, minus mo. 55 five minus 5150. This will increase the shareholder's equity. Okay? So, yeah. Ganun lang. Diba? Dali. Ang dali ng problem. Next. Problem 3. Dito naman is, let's look. Ooh. 
On December 31, 2020, power company showed the following balances. Months payable, discount payable, discounts on months payable, share premium on issuance, share premium conversion, the interest is payable annually. The convertible bonds are not converted but fully paid. Okay, on December 31, 2020. On such date, the quoted price of the convertible bonds with conversion option is 105, which the payment to the bondholders plus interest. However, the quoted price of the bonds with the conversion privilege is 95. So, ano daw yung carry amount of bonds on December 31, 2020? Madali lang yan. Anong gagawin? Pang, pang, pang. Bonds payable four million less discount, 500,000. You have carrying amount of 3,500. Ah, uh, di ba? So, that's the answer. 3,500. Oh, tapos na tayo sa letter A. <laughs> letter B. What is the gain or loss from extinguishment of bonds? Okay. So, dahil nga fully paid siya, uh, binayaran mo na Okay, so hindi na na-convert. Uh, na-extinguish na siya. So, anong gagawin? So, we look at the carrying amount, uh, 3.5. Iless mo ngayon yung market value without conversion privilege. Okay, so that's the actual, yan yung talagang market value nung iyong liability, if liability lang yung, bin, yung binili sa iyo ng investor. Okay, so that's 4 million times 95. Okay? So, you'll get 3.8. Okay? So, makikita mo na agad. Kasi, uh, ang value niya is actually 3.8. Okay? Pero ang carrying amount is 3.5. So, loss siya. Loss on extinguishment of 300,000. 300,000. Okay? Then, we have, chun chun chun, yan. So, the, an the answer is loss and extinguishment. And then, for letter C, we have, ang tanong is, what is the total payment to the bondholders on December 31, 2020? So, ito. So, di ba sabi, pag magbabayad ka na sa bondholder, that's actually the issue price plus the interest. Kasi, hindi naman sila papayag na issue price lang. Okay? Kaya nga sila nagpautang kasi they're expecting interest din. So, para kumita sila. So, issue price, syempre, yung with conversion privilege, kasi yun naman talaga yung inutang mo. Okay? So, we have 4 million times 105. Okay? So, yan yung issue price niya, yung 42. Okay? Add mo ngayon yung interest expense. So, madali lang siya. That's 4 million times the nominal rate of 6%. Ito yun. Okay? So, the interest is 240,000. You're to ang total na babayaran mo sa bondholder, okay, is 4,440,000. Okay. Ma'am, isang bagsakan po ba siya? This is actually interest is payable annually every 31. So, yung interest is every December 31. Then, the principal amount is on the maturity date. Okay. So, ganun lang. So, nibalak na ba kayo maging magpautang ng pera? Pag marami na kayong pera, di ba? So, biruin mo, nag-interest ng 240,000. So, nagpahiram ka ng 4-2. Ah, pinahiram ka ng 4-2. Tapos, sorry, mali, mali. Ikaw yung investor. Nagpahiram ka ng 4-2. Okay? And then, nag-interest pa ng 240,000. Sa mga mapupulot yung 240,000, di ba? Okay, so yan. Next, problem 4. So, this is actually compute for the equity component. Okay? So, um, given naman sa problem yung issue price, Okay, 1 million. And then, convertible daw siya 8 shares with par. When the bonds were issued, they were selling at 98 without a conversion option. So, meron daw na incur na 50,000 transaction costs. Okay, una is com equity component. So, the issue price is 1 million. Then, you just uh, look for the fair value without equity feature. That's 1 million times yung 98 without a conversion daw. That's 980,000. Less mo lang, you'll get... 20,000 equity component. Okay, the next question is uh, compute for allocation of the transaction cost. Okay, so uh, ia allocate mo yung transaction cost sa liability and equity component. Okay, so paano? You just divide to total 1 million. That's the liability component, equity component, 1 million. You get a fraction. Okay, 980 divided by 1 million. So, saan galing 1 million? So, yung total. Then, yun then the same, 20,000 divided by 1 million. Okay? Now, you allocate the 50,000. So, for the liability component, that fi that's 50,000 times 980 divided by 1 million. 49,000 yung kanya. For the equity component, uh, that's 50,000 times 20,000. 
thousand divided by one million. That's one million. Okay, so so total, ang net carrying amount, uh, if the total ha, that's one million minus yung transaction cost na fifty. So nakuha lang niya is nine fifty. Okay, pag tinanong the net carrying amount of the liability, that's nine eighty minus forty nine. For the equity, that's twenty minus one, so nineteen. So ganun lang. Okay, so uh, yun lang. So, I think that ends. Mag, apat na problem na niya. Oh, so, so, yun. So, okay na tayo dito. So, if you have questions, you may ask me. Okay. Bye-bye!